Hey guys, today I'm going to do a quick video about dotting tools, how you can use them and how I, I use them. But if you have any other uses, then please let me know because there are a lot of things that you can do with them that I don't mention or didn't mention. So if you see me looking right there, it's because I wrote everything down and I don't want to miss anything. Because if I just talk and blah blah blah, I'll forget everything, what I was going to say. So first off, the dotting tool is for making dots. Simple. So, dip it into acrylic paint, dot dot dot, done. But uh, also, it's great for small detail, such as... Which is the smallest? This is the smallest, and it's great for details, such as if you're doing faces, it's great for um, like the reflective white into the eyes or the black pupil, yeah. Um, it's ideal for leopard print. I use these, which one did I use? I use this one. And that one for this nail. It's ideal for leopard print. So with the bigger one I just made irregular shapes with the pink and then with this one I made the black outline. Uh, I think this is better than a brush for the outline because you can go a little bit jagged or crooked and that makes it more realistic. Well at least my opinion. So that's that. I'm looking so I don't forget anything. So it's great for picking up rhinestones as well. Um, if you're doing gel, just get a little a tiny bit of gel onto your tip. Pick up your rhinestones and place it into your gel. If you're doing um, with, with just regular polish onto your nails, get a little bit of clear polish and then Pick up your rhinestones if you're using acrylic. Um, you should use it with your top coat. It also picks up um, like these stars, hexagons, glitter, uh, those bullion beads or those tiny beads. Uh, what else? Or a uh, nail like these stars. There's like spangles. Oh. Um, doo -doo -doo. The smaller one. I am going to use this from now on instead of my cuticle with the rosewood stick. When I do gel, I always go around my cuticle with a, a stick so that the gel doesn't run into my cuticles. From now on, I'm going to use a dotting tool because it's not sharp you can poke people without hurting and it's great um, let me see let me see you could also make some acrylic paints it's a great tool to do that instead of messing up your brushes just stir 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 you can also mix acrylic powders um, when you do your your own glitter mixes um, you just stir around instead of shaking the bottle because if you shake the bottle what I, I have is I don't have airtight containers so when you shake it there's always a little bit of uh, glitter or powder when you twist it open it falls out so stirring also for stirring up gel like um, not, not just clear gel but uh, pigmented gel like red colored gel um, because the pigment settles to the bottom you have to stir it up to get uh, the pigments even into your gel great tool I use this for it uh, worse every time this is also a marbling tool Where's my marble <laughs> it's been five years since I did marbling so please forgive me if this doesn't look that good <laughs> But, great marbling tool. Please, I And 
last thing that I could think of is a gel applicator. Um, my white gel is a little bit thicker as in a consistency than my builder gel. So when I used to use my IBD Extreme Extreme White, it was a real thick, thick white gel. So I got a scoop and then I just swirled around at my nails, go back with the brush and done. And also for glitter, get a little bit of glitter gel. Choo -choo -choo. And that's it. Um well, I think I got everything. Let me see. Yeah. Of course, these are just um, a few examples what you can do with them. You can also use these. Um, let me get my my clay. Uh, you can use these also for uh, non-nail related things, such as, I was making clay stuff the other day, and I used my dotting tool, the biggest one, to make um, my donut round, so that's how it looks like, and also for my cute cuppy cake to push on my white dots so that they would stick without getting my fingerprints on it. Uh, what else? I think that's about it. Oh, so in the videos that I showed you were somewhere around here, I used these um, nails on a stick thingamajiggies and they come with a holder so it's great for when you're having a salon or just at home to display your art. This is a nail that I did last year. It's heaven and hell. And it's great to store your nail art so that people can see what you can do or what, what you have. And also, uh, if you make nails such as this, it's the Hello Kitty nail that I did a couple months ago. And people pick it out and think, hmm, that's pretty. You can always also put a price on the back so that when they turn around, they think, oh, okay, that's the price. And there you go. It's a great way to store your nail art or show it. So they come blank and you just pop them in. So. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it was helpful for some. Um, there are lots of many uses for marbling, uh, dotting tools. <laughs> so if you have other uses other than the ones I named, please put them down so if other people see this video that they know ooh, what else they can use it for. But that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys later. Bye!